Hello, hello, and welcome back to Suffolk and Norfolk Fishing. Now, this is the bait tray that I'm finishing off for my mate Joe, and uh, just gonna add a few more bits to it. If you wanna see the video of that, then there is a link in the bio below. However, Joe, the other day, gave me an idea of making a chum tube. Uh, he made his out of a PVC pipe. However, I'm going to use a bit of boiler flue that I've got, um, really simple. Um, essentially, the idea is that you put all your old dead baits, old baits, fish guts, uh, you can use bran in there, you can use dog biscuits, mix it all up, make it as smelly as smelly as you can. Um, I, I can get hold of pig's hearts and things like that from, from the butcher through work and, and what, whatnot. So I'm gonna use some of those as well and some old offal. Anything that releases scent and oil into the water. And the idea is, I'm gonna drill loads of holes in this, to keep that um, sort of protected from any um, scent hunters, um, which we're targeting. So we're gonna be targeting things like thornbacks, um, taupe, smooth hounds. Um, and I'm gonna attach this to my anchor chain so the tide runs through and it takes that beautiful slick, that oil, and it takes it straight into our swim that we're using off the back of the boat. And any fish that are in the surrounding areas, hopefully will hone in on that, then come up and grab our bait on the way through. That's the idea. Really simple. I'm gonna drill lots and lots of holes in it. Small, tiny holes, because the smaller the holes, the longer the bait will um, maintain there and, and spreading its sense around. Then I'm gonna screw it two slightly larger holes so that I can um, attach it to my anchor chain on a, uh, on a clip, like so. Just clip it on, and when you're putting your anchor up, unclip it, throw it in a bucket, and then carry on retrieving your anchor. Um, another way I might do it, because this is quite heavy, and I might put a lead on the bottom of it as well, is that I'll just get a nice long piece of rope, uh, thin rope, um, and I'll just hang it off the back of the boat. Because even then, when it's coming off the back of the boat, casting back 20, 30 yards, it's still going to hopefully attract the fish in. So, hopefully another really easy method and an easy little project that will put you on more fish. So let's see how we can make it. Right, easy peasy, drilled all the holes, uh, got two larger ones at the top, and uh, as these things happen, uh, a lot of the time you sort of redesign as you go. So I'm now going to attach this hook onto my onto a shackle on my uh, anchor chain and that can then just live there and then when I want to use this very simple I can just hook it on and it will just sit there there's no chance that's coming off okay and then when I pull my anchor in I can take that off nice and easy get that out of the way get that in a bucket away from other things um, easy peasy now I've got another hole on the other side which I'm going to use and that's going to be where I cable tie the top of my uh, onion sack. My onion sack, so I'm gonna get a bucket, I'm gonna mix it with those dead baits, as I've just mentioned um, earlier. Dead baits, dog food, heart, pig's hearts, anything you can get, any offal you can get, anything that's gonna give off oil or a scent or something like that. Mix it all up in a bucket before you go, freeze it in, um, in freezer bags in an onion sack, and then you're ready to go. Just chuck them in your ice box where you keep your bait anyway, and just, you can keep putting them in. If you're, looking to go out all day and stay on one mark. And obviously if this is on your anchor, it's going to stay down there for a long time. So you're gonna to have to pack this full of beautiful oily baits. If not, you're not going to be able to get it up unless you anchor up, move, re-anchor. So for that, I personally would just use a long length of rope, making sure that this is got enough weight to it that it sits on the bottom. In, in sort of a couple of knots of tide or wherever it is that you're fishing. Um, so if you need to attach a couple of fishing weights to that or something, then, then you might have to do that and just chuck this over the back, making sure that it's not gonna get in the way of your fishing. Um, easy peasy. Then hour, hour and a half, fishing slows down, pull it up, fill it up again with more and, uh, and dump it over the side again. And uh, fingers crossed next time I see you, I'll be out on the boat. <laughs> 